Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Thirma Olavan Srinivasan. In this video, I will show you how to load data from Amazon S3 to Amazon RDS MySQL database engine using Amazon Glue service. Let me quickly introduce about myself. Currently, I am working as a solutions architect and I have over 17 years IT industry experience. I am also an Amazon Partner Network Ambassador for Northern America region. I currently hold 8 valid AWS certifications. This is the architecture that we are going to implement in this video. First we are going to load the data into Amazon S3 service. Then we will use AWS crawler service from AWS Glue to create the data source. Then we will use AWS job to load the data from Amazon S3 to Amazon RDS MySQL database engine. This is the architecture that we are using uh, for MySQL database engine for this video. I already have a video on how to implement MySQL database on Amazon RDS. I'll give you a link for that in the description. Now let me log into AWS Management Console and show you how to implement in action. I have now logged into the AWS Management Console. Let me go to S3 Management Console and show you the data set. I created a bucket named Banking Fraud Data Set and uploaded the data set here. It's a CSV file. For this demo, I'm using Synthetic Financial Data Set for Fraud Detection from Kaggle. You can download the data set from this URL on Kaggle. You can download it by creating an account. I have already downloaded the data set and uploaded into S3. Let me go to RDS and show you the database. I have already created a database. It's a MySQL database. It's in DBM file large instance. And th here is the endpoint URL for this data set, for this MySQL database engine. And I have created this MySQL database engine on the private subnet with no public accessibility. Public accessibility is no here. I have already created a EC2 instance on the public subnet and the private subnet to connect to the data, database. I'll show you how to connect to this database from the jump box that is created on the public subnet. And then I'll first I'll SSH to the public EC2 instance then we will connect to the private EC2 instance and from the private EC2 instance we will be able to connect to this MySQL database we will be able to access it. Let me go to EC2 management console show you this instance this is the public EC2 instance first I will SSH to this instance from the internet once I connect to this instance I will SSH to the private EC2 instance. See, this doesn't have any public IPv4 address. It has only the private IPv4 address. I'll connect to this instance from the public EC2 instance. And then I'll access the MySQL database from this instance, from the private instance. Let me first click on this public EC2 instance and connect. So we get the connection string. And I have already connected to the public EC2 instance here. If you see this private IPv4 address for the public instance, it's 10.11.223. I'll show you. For the public IPv4 address, here is the private IPv4 address. It's 10.11.223. I have already connected to this. Now let me connect to private EC2 instance. So connect get this URL I have already enabled SSH agent forwarding so I don't need to provide the .pem file here I now connected to the private EC2 instance it's 10.1.3.54 that's the private EC2 instance IP address yep that's it 
let me connect to MySQL database. Let me get the connection URL endpoint URL. port is 3306 I connected to the MySQL database So let me let me go ahead and create a new database. Let me name it as Banking Fraud DB. an empty database anyway we don't have any tables let's go to glue and then import the data data set and see how it is working let me open AWS glue before we start using glue let's go ahead and create a role for glue to use in IAM roles and create a role and it's AWS service and glue is going to use this role so let's select glue go to permissions and we need to add three permissions here first let's select search for glue service role let's select AWS glue service role and we need to give access to S3 database uh, for now let me go ahead and use Amazon S3 full access but we should give only the required permissions in the real world and add one more that is for RDS to access RDS let me give Amazon RDS full access for now. This is also we don't need to give full access, we need to restrict it in the real world. For this demo, I'm just going to use the Amazon RDS full access. Next to tags, I don't need one. Let me name it as ETL role. Create the role. If you select the ETL role, you will see the required managed policies the permissions Amazon glue service role and Amazon S3 access and Amazon RDS access this is good enough let's go to glue console now let's uh, go ahead and go to the AWS crawler and add a crawler name it data source um, crawler uh, S3 go next select the data source I'm going to select S3 data source and select the bucket that is the banking fraud data set As you see I have that data set here Select it. Now I'm going to leave everything else as default. Go to next. Add another data source. Now I'm not going to add another one here. But if you have data in the multiple buckets or multiple locations in the S3 bucket, you can just go ahead and add that 
and glue will glue it together go next and I'm going to use an existing IAM role that we already created select ETL role go next so here uh, we can select uh, if you want to schedule the crawler job or if you want to run it on demand I'm going to leave it as run on demand and next we need to add a database don't have one let's go ahead and create one um, let's name it as banking fraud data source s3 and go next let's finish it now let's run this crawler job select it and then run crawler it's going to take a while I'm going to pause this video I'll come back once this is completed now the crawler job is completed you can see the crawler job completed and made the following changes it has added one table so tables added is one so let's go to databases here our database is created banking fraud data source s3 and then if you see this tables yeah we have that table yeah it has correctly identified the data source now let's go to connections we need to add a connection for our mysql database let's add here type a connection name it's amazon audius instance and database it's mysql go to next it's this is the instance identifier for the database name we're going to use the database that we have created banking fraud db now we need to test the connection but this time it will fail I'll show you why because the database that I have created is in the private subnet and it doesn't have any connection to the S3 Amazon S3 so we need to have endpoint connection a gateway endpoint for Amazon S3 for the MySQL to access the S3 let me show you here let me select the role test the connection has failed the reason is ppc s3 endpoint validation failed for the subnet where our uh, mysql database engine is running so let's go ahead and take care of it go to management console move to vpc endpoints create an endpoint select the service uh, filter it by s3 we need to select the gateway endpoint for s3 and select the vpc it's our database is in vpc1 that's the custom vpc and we need to select the route table um, so our mysql database is in private subnet to az1 and az2 that uh, database layer so this is the first one so if you see this route table associated with these two subnets where our private ec2 instance is associated and this route table is associated with the subnets where our public ec2 instance is created so we need to select this one where our db instance is running select it And for now I'm going to give full access but in the real world scenario we need to customize it with only necessary permissions 
create endpoint. Now the endpoint is created. Let's go to Glue Console and see if that connection is working. Test ETL draw test connection. It's going to take a few moments, so I'm going to pause the video and come back once it is completed. MySQL DB connection test is completed successfully. Now let's go to Glue job. Let's add a job. Job name, let's name it as a load S3 data to uh, MySQL. select the role and the job type I'm going to leave it as spark job you can do a spark streaming or Python shell and I'm going to leave it as a proposed script generated by AWS glue and I'm going to leave everything else as default let's select banking fraud data set that we have created using AWS uh, glue crawler job select next leave it as default change schema and I'm going to create tables in the data target for this I'm going to select the JDBC connection and the connection type connection is that one that we have already created MySQL DB connection and the database name we need to give the database name the banking fraud DB next and if you want to change the schema or like you to modify it we can do it here and I'm going to leave everything as default and save job and edit script save the job run the job So the glue job is running now, it will take a while, I am going to pause the video and come back once this is completed. Now the AWS glue job is completed successfully. Let's connect to MySQL database and see if it has imported the data. It has added a new table. fine it has imported the data from S3 let me expand it a little and run the query again yep you can see that now clear it has imported all the let's see how many data it is imported Is imported over 63 million data in less than five minutes time. I think it probably took around two to three minutes. Now we have implemented how to load the data from Amazon S3 to Amazon RDS MySQL database engine using Amazon Glue service. Hope you would have find this video useful. Thank you.